The ocean is Earth's last great wilderness, a place where fire erupts under crushing black water and creatures we barely understand drift in the dark. Tonight, five real moments caught on camera that scientists actually study, but most people wish they hadn't seen. A robotic camera sinks past 5,000 meters over an empty, silty plain. Something thin moves at the edge of the lights, arms bent at sharp angles trailing impossibly long filaments like wires in the dark. It's a big fin squid, genus Magnapinna. Big fins hold their arms straight down with distinct elbows, then let thread-like filaments dangle to the seafloor. Total length can reach many meters because those filaments are absurdly long relative to the body. Multiple ROVs have filmed them at abyssal depths in the Pacific. Encounters are rare, but real. It looks engineered, like deep sea origami come alive, and it lives where sunlight never reaches. The anatomy defies intuition. Elbows on a squid, filaments like kite strings, a shape that seems barely possible until it moves. Recent clips from trenches and planes keep reminding us there's a whole biome down there that we've barely met. August 2025, Schmidt Ocean Institute's ROV Sebastian descends into Mar del Plata Canyon off Argentina, a gorge nearly twice as deep as the Grand Canyon. Cameras spot fields of coral, luminous cephalopods, pink lobsters, and life no one can name yet. Researchers log about 40 species suspected new to science on camera. Why it's terrifying? Because it's not one monster. It's an entire unknown ecosystem. In high-definition video, the seafloor feels extraterrestrial. Forests of cold water corals, sponges like glass, animals adapted to pressure and cold. If this much novelty appears in a single canyon, how much else is out there? The dive documented living habitats, candidate new species, and biogeography in a region rarely explored with modern ROVs. It's a reminder. Undiscovered doesn't mean empty. It means we haven't looked. May 2009, Eni Lao Basin, South Pacific. Scientists lower the ROV Jason onto the summit of West Mata, about 1.2 kilometers beneath the surface. The cameras find magma fountains blasting into cold seawater, glowing bombs, ash, and sulfur clouds billowing in total darkness. The first time a deep sea explosive eruption was filmed in action. Temperature estimates run 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,200 degrees Celsius for the molten lava. They name two vents, Hades and Prometheus. The footage changed textbooks, proof of active, explosive volcanism at depth, with vents mapped around 1,174 to 1,200 meters. The ocean floor isn't quiet, it breathes fire. March 2025, South Atlantic. The research vessel Falcor 2 hovers near the South Sandwich Islands. ROV Sebastian is live streaming when a viewer flags a shape drifting at 600 meters. Scientists freeze, zoom, and realize what they're seeing. The first confirmed video of a live colossal squid, Mizanocotuthis hamiltoni, in its natural habitat. It's a juvenile, about 30 centimeters long, and this is what an adult one looks like, dead. The camera shows a near-transparent body. As these squids mature, they turn opaque red-purple. Hooked tentacles help identify the species, a giant predator known mostly from beaks and remains in whale stomachs, now alive, curious, and right in front of the lens. This is the heaviest invertebrate on Earth, a legend that sailors imagined and scientists doubted, suddenly real on video. 
If a one-foot juvenile looks like that, what does an adult look like moving through the dark? January 26, 2025, Canary Islands. Researchers spot a black sea devil anglerfish, Melanocetus johnsonii, near the ocean surface, something nobody had documented before. A photographer captures it weaving upward in sunlight, a fish built for pitch black, suddenly revealed in open blue. Sea devils live in darkness, hundreds to thousands of meters down, with a bioluminescent lure and a mouthful of glassy teeth. Seeing one near the surface is like finding a cave animal on a city street. It shouldn't be there. But there it is, filmed. Anomalous surfacing events can and do happen, possibly related to upwelling, currents, or stress. We don't know. The footage expands the observed envelope for a classic deep-sea predator and raises new questions about vertical movements in extreme fishes. The ocean keeps its secrets well. Cameras make it feel closer, but what they show is stranger than fiction. Wire-armed squids, volcanic fire, entire communities no one has named, and monsters from the abyss drifting into daylight. If you want a part two of more verified, caught-on-camera moments from the deep, subscribe, like, and drop the case you want featured in the comments. If I use your pick, I'll credit you on screen. Stay curious, and stay safe out there.